I don't know what held me back from doing this before. Um, and it's not, it's not like I've created this, but holy buckets, this is going to change the way that I train moving forward. The biggest issue, guys, is having two surfaces to stand on. Okay? Now, what of course I'm talking about is the Ukrainian deadlift. Now, there's a couple ways that we can do this that I've been doing this. I got 250-ish pounds on this sucker right now. Mama can't show it because she can't get through the clutter in the nest. Okay? But when I do these reps, you'll see it. And here's the deal, guys. Well, let's, let's first demonstrate why this is so incredible. Okay, first and foremost here, I was thinking to myself, I'm like, okay, when you're squatting, what's the best way to squat, basically? In my opinion, to get the perfect form, glute activation up the wazoo, big, perfect range of motion. And in my opinion, it's the freaking goblet squat, okay? See that four, mama? Mm -hmm. Look at how deep you can get. So you got a bar in your back. It's just, you know, if you front squat, maybe. But I think the goblet squat's the best. The problem is you can't load that sucker up very heavy. But when you're doing this Ukrainian deadlift in a squat pattern, it's almost the exact same freaking thing. So I've been in the freaking laboratory here, messing around with stuff just for hours. Mom's like, freaking sticky dicky you have to be a father you have chores to do and i said no nah, I'm, I'm in the freaking rat's nest right now i'm gonna be here for hours dilly dally not even tunes were being played it's just me and my freaking brain uh, just fireworks going off so first and foremost here's the wedge and just a loading pin okay so i load that sucker up now what did i say about the freaking squat okay what was the form again i'll show you one more time Goblet squat. Look at that. See that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now watch this. Drop here. Look at the form. Jesus Christ. God, you see that, Mama? Mm -hmm. That force load. Oh. Oh, yeah. So your intent constant is touching. It's not touching the floor. Ooh. And you're going slower as you descend on purpose, right? Yeah, because I don't want to break the floor. Ah, okay. Well, that's because really I don't have good. Doesn't matter anything, but it's good. It's forcing me to go slow. But if I wanted to really horse cock some weight, I'd probably put a mat there. It ballistic, explosive reps. Okay, so that's one technique I was doing here, and I'm telling you. My hips, oh freaking feel loose as a goose. And I want you guys to see something real fast here. I'm gonna check this out. The other day I tried the Zercher Dents for uh, the first time in forever, okay? And I didn't have the mobility, but look at this. It's almost the exact same range of motion. You understand what I'm saying here? So at the end of the day, you're getting the best of every world, okay? Before I get into the stiff-legged Ukrainian deadlift, I just want to bring this up real fast. I 100% believe that if you're working out at home and you had to buy something, I think that a loading pin and a wedge handle, as long as you had two things to stand on, is all you need. And then a ton of plates. Because you can squat, you can deadlift with it, there's probably too much weight on here. I'm not warmed up enough, but think about this as well. Look, watch this. This is where the position starts. You know, they hit mega range of motion, Arnold freaking rows, you know, where he's like, you know, huge range of motion. You can't do that with a barbell. With a bar, you're going to here, uh, it's touching the ground. This is where a bar goes. Look at this. Holy bucket. Okay, so it's a mega deficit. So you're in a full acid grass squat or you're doing a mega deficit deadlift. And you can say, well, Stiggy Ricky, why don't you just, you know, you can do a deficit deadlift standing on anything. Yes, but look at the freaking, look at the, uh, look at how narrow your stance is. So your carryover to squat, unless you're squatting with a freaking deadlift stance, it's not great. This way, you're freaking doing a deadlift and a squat with a squat stance. Okay? Voluptuous glutes, just spinal erectors made of freaking steel. 
quads up the wazoo, just quad veins exploding out. Okay, I'm feeling them out. Can you see this? Yeah, I was just about to say that you barely fit into your suit pants anymore because of the booty. Yeah. My glutes are pumped up the wazoo. Okay, look at these shorts. These are extra large shorts, by the way. Now, yeah. I feel like these shorts don't show the booty off as much as like well, they're not that other things. Just, yeah. yeah, it's a, a weird. What shape. are you trying to say, Shinzel? No, it, you definitely have it. I'm say. just saying, you're like, just... no, and your suit pants Great. and stuff. That's not what I'm saying. So you're telling me that I look like shit now. Not at all. Oh <laughs> my gosh. Okay. No, I'm just saying you were like popping out of your suit band. Let's get to the next one and uh, I'll have to insert that image or whatever. Yeah. To see. So they know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, so basically, sumo deadlifts are, are stupid, right? <laughs> Oh, because you got the bar in the way. You know what I'm saying? But a way they can, so it's very technical. Either people can either do it or they can't do it, whatever. I'm not knocking it, sumos, sumos or whatever. But basically, this is a freaking squat. It's a deadlift. It's You can make it a semi-sumo. You know what I mean? It's a squat stance. So we got the squat. So that was one thing I was doing. Now check this out, Mala. Look at this range of motion here. We're gonna do a stiff legged, Sumo deadlift. Now, if you're doing that with a bar with 45, see a lot of weight on it, or whatever, it'd be like, it's just awkward. It's awkward. The first time I saw someone do a stiff legged sumo deadlift was John Hack, like 10 years ago, maybe longer even. And it just looked, I think he's even said himself, it's just an awkward movement. But if you're doing it with the Ukrainian deadlift setup, ugh, stiff leggies. See, wider stance, toes pointing out slightly for the big old voluptuous bubble butt activation. Look at how stiff I am. <laughs> oh! Are you looking? Yeah. Oh, that's stiff. to say like I said I honestly guys so just the other day at the gym I hit 710 stop looking at the cat she's so cute though I hit 710 pretty easily on the conventional dead okay with not with not not a deadlift bar okay just a normal Olympic bar 710 pretty easily I'm going to put myself stop looking at the cat I'm <laughs> I'm gonna put myself to the test to only do Ukrainian deadlifts, fellas, for the next month, okay? No other deadlifts. Because I like to be, you know, the freaking miracle of muscle. You know what I mean? The mad, methodical experimentation. You know what I'm saying, Mama? It didn't make that much sense, but now you're explaining it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, and also one more thing before I let you guys go here. Okay, we're not getting off the hook that easily. Uh, for my warm-ups, I use the Country Crush. It's basically like a double rolling thunder. I can say, stick your ringy, what's, what's the point? Well, when it's light, okay, it's, maybe you see how, see that one? Mm -hmm. Okay, when it's light, it's light, right? I'm getting warmed up, so why not, you know, get big freaking Popeye forearms working the grip with the rolling thunder? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying? I don't think yeah, you do. You're looking at because you're working your grip. I get it. Your face. Okay, so I want to do a rep with the rolling thunder out first for the country crush. So with now that? we're getting freaking wow. three birds with one stone. Do you understand what I'm saying, Mama? Yeah, I thought you did that with lighter sets. You're gonna do it with that? Yeah, just to show you guys what's up. Okay. Anyways, I'm just gonna start with it. So my goal with this, I think, is to get 600. If I can do a 600 pound Ukrainian deadlift, oh, and by the way, the Ukrainian deadlift, um, <coughs> also something that Chris Duffin recommended in the past is like putting a band around your hips and you would attach it to like an anchor back there so that when you do it, okay, it's like you're pushing your hips forward against the band. 
I think that's just making things over complicated though. Are you gonna try it though no, at some point? Absolutely not. I think that's just we're just looking at this movement as okay, I want to strengthen my squat. Did you see that? Yeah. I want to strengthen my squat, but I also want a horse cock deadlift. You know what I'm saying? So I'm during my workouts, I'm going to combine the stiffies with the deep ass to grasses. Deep ass and stiffies. Super set. Just can't help yourself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, last one. Country Crush Double Rolling Thunder 250 pound stiffy. Yeah. Feel me? Yeah. You're going to be mad, but I was on 0.9 for some of it by X. God damn it, Mama. That, that instantly lowers the quality. I'm sorry. Was it blurry the whole time? I don't think so. The absolute worst camera. <laughs> Thanks. God. You're so bad that people love you, though. <laughs> you realize that? It's endearing how terrible you are. Honey, no. you're okay. being so mean. <laughs> All right. Are you kidding? Or are you just... Yeah. You ready for the stiffy? Are you ready? Stop. Yeah. Stop. Come on, let's get stiff, Rick. Oh, yeah, I like that. Oh, I like that. I think I Oh, I know. No, you're good. Keep Chloe. Going. Keep it going. Come oh, on, Chloe. Oh. Yeah, see, the grip, the grip was giving up. You never want that to be the case, but when you're warming up, you might as well get, you know, get to work those hands on that stiffy, you know what I'm saying? All right, honey. <laughs> Enough All right. of that. All right, you're good. All right, bye. Ooh.